bastard, Jenny thought, trying her best to refrain from slamming the front door as she entered her Aunt Beatrice's flat. She stood by the front door, unsure what to do, her head a jumble of emotions, anger and self-pity vying to dominate her state of mind. She wanted to go straight upstairs to the spare room. Her aunt was letting her stay there, but she knew she had to say hello at least, and that meant being in this bedraggled state. Jenny? her aunt said, appearing from the living room, wrapped in a dressing gown. Jenny realised she must have been waiting up for her to return. There was a look of concern on the larger woman's face. On hearing her name and the note of concern in her aunt's voice, Jenny felt her will to resist the torrent of despair crumble. She began to cry. Her aunt went to her with surprising speed for such a large woman, and Jenny gratefully sank into her strong, fleshy arms, burying her head in her aunt's shoulder, finding comfort in the warm embrace. She felt like a child again, hurt and in need of a hug and reassurance. It's okay, girl, her aunt said, putting her shoulder, holding her tight. I'm sorry, Jenny said, sniffing. I didn't, I didn't wake little Brian, did I? No, of course not, her aunt soothed. He's in his cot, fast asleep. Jenny sniffed again and looked bleary-eyed into her aunt's compassionate hazel eyes. Well, I guess you were right, auntie. He wasn't for me. Or rather, I wasn't for him. I caught the bastard snogging some bitch on the dance floor when he thought I was in a lady's. <laughs> she finished her sentence with a sob. Beatrice sighed. Look, he's not the worth the tears, girl, really. He's the one should be crying, not you. He's lost having a smart...